Hi guys, Paula here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of the flavor of the day. Guess what? I got me a mic. And so now you can hear me. I'm happy about that. I, my husband said, just get yourself a mic. So I did. The other thing is, look at this very cute shirt. It's from Allison over at The Prepared Life. If you haven't ever heard of her, go to Instagram and check out The Prepared Life. She has a wonderful feed. Uh, she also does a podcast, but this says rebellion comes in many forms, and it has the gardening tools, chicken, and canning jars. She does releases throughout the year. She doesn't have them always and they have kitschy sayings that are very appropriate to the times that we're in and they come in different styles tank tops long sleeve hoodie so they're very cute and i had to get myself one i love it today in the same vein we're going to talk about preparing or i should say preserving i don't know about you but i cannot stand throwing food away and be it meats that were buried at the bottom of the freezer and have been there for three years to um, food leftovers that got pushed to the back of the fridge that no longer even resemble something edible. I, it's just not a good thing, especially now where we're trying to stretch that dollar to throw away anything. So I'm going to show you a couple of easy things to do in that vein of preserving. For example, today we're doing onions. Um, I bought a giant bag of onions from Sam's Club. In Sam's Club, they're 65 cents a pound. In my grocery store, they're 95 cents a pound. You might be like, whoop de doo 30 cents. But those pennies add up and another awesome homesteader, Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead does for the whole month of August, every bit counts challenge. And that's where you preserve something, if, even if it's not every day, as much as you can for the month of August. So I had some onions left. And I have some lemons left. We're going to gather the stuff. And I'm going to show you how to preserve. Even if you say, there's just two of us. Why am I going to buy a 10-pound bag of onions? You do this and you have them. And you don't have to worry. Let's gather the stuff and get going. Okay, first things first. I have my onion. I'm going to give it a little peel. And you're going to do a rough dice. You don't want to go too small. Just, I'll show you real quick how I do mine. And we'll just do this one and then I'll finish up because chopping veggies is boring. And you keep that little tail on so you have a little place to grip. And this is what you got. Just a basic rough chop of your onion. You don't want it super fine. Just like that. I'm going to go through them and when we're going to uh, get ready to freeze them, I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so I put them out on a cookie sheet with foil on the bottom. I don't use parchment for this. They'll come off the foil and you spread them out. 
and then you pop them in the freezer and just a close up and you get them somewhat frozen and then we're going to food savor them this is one of the best ways to preserve your onions you can also dehydrate them I've not done it I've heard people say if you do you need to do it outside or well ventilated because it's heavy-duty dehydrating onions in your home but I like this way this way um, I can take them out and I can do a little bit more of a rough chop if I want them somewhat smaller but they're gonna go into the freezer and I quickly also have to share this it's not big this is my hand this is how big it is my son made this for me when he was in middle school and it was probably 2003 when a child makes something it doesn't matter that I have cutting boards that are twice this size I always grab this one because it's just special anyway I wanted to share that little ditty with you so I'm gonna put them in the freezer and then I'm gonna come back and show you another little trick okay here's another tip these lemons were fading fast. I bought a big bag in, I think it was Sam's. Juice them. And try to get as much of that juice as you can. Also, I'll chop these up for those of you that have disposes, garbage disposals, chop these up and send them down the drain just to give a fresh uh, scent to the garbage disposal. And then you don't want no seeds. But you do this. If you have a silicone mold, just pour your lemon juice. Oh, then when a seed, I'll get a spoon into the mold. And let's see if I could find it. And you freeze them and then once they're frozen you just pop them out and put them into a bag easy peasy don't let your lemons turn into this get them all squoozed and put into a little and it could be any kind of a it could just be an ice cube tray I just happen to have these silicone molds pour them in pop them out all righty, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, another way to preserve your produce. How many times does this happen to you? It's either feast or famine with bananas. My kids will either be, oh, no bananas, or I have bananas and no one eats them. And bananas are one of those funky fruits that you have a, a tiny window where it is the best banana in the world or it's going to be either too ripe or not ripe enough so this is what i do put a banana in a food bag look they're so ripe the stems don't even stay on them i peel them Get the strings off in the bag it goes and I'll do this one then I'm gonna point you down a little bit let's get you 
down just a bit. Then you have them in your bag. I seal it. Obviously, I wrote bananas and the date. And then you squish. I just give them an easy squish. I'm actually going to put the rest of these in there too because it could use it. This drives me nuts about bananas because I don't like wasting them either. Let me turn you a little and point you a little bit down. There we go. And this is easy stuff. It takes no time. As soon as you see them starting to turn, quickly peel them, get the little strings off, put them in the bag, label it, give it a squish. And what's nice is then if you want to make banana nut bread, banana muffins, chocolate banana cake, whatever recipe you're looking to make with banana. You squeeze that air out and there you go. Press it flat so it doesn't take up much space in your freezer and you're good. Alrighty folks, I have my food saver out. I am using the smaller bags versus the larger for my onions. I just cut, hit the seal, and then I will write the contents and we will start fill, filling them. I put the date and obviously what's in it. And now we'll start filling. These onions had a really strong smell, so I put some plastic wrap on them and put them in my chest freezer in the garage so that they would freeze a little faster and they're not a hundred percent frozen yet but that's okay that's one and here we go with number two and remember you want to have a bit of space on the top for closing purposes. I'm just going to do this this way. Get it all in. See if they're even. Add a little more into this one. Let's get to sealing. All right. I love my food saver. It was an awesome gift. One, two, three. And the air is out. And just like that, once you see the red light, Turn you a little bit. It's ready. And it's sealed beautifully. And I will do the same with this one. Just flatten it a little. I stretch the bag a little. Just 
want you to see a little better. It gets hard because all the air has come out and it is partially frozen. And there you have it. Your onions are ready to go into your freezer. My lemon juice isn't quite frozen yet. It's getting there, but if you push through, it's still um, not solid. But when this is frozen solid, I will peel it back. That's how easy it comes out. And I will place it in this bag marked lemon juice. And that's it. I've preserved onions and some lemon juice. Easy, no fuss something all of us could do. Remember, if you have something that's ready to turn, bananas, onions, lemons, limes, just get them in the freezer so that you're not wasting or throwing anything away. I hope you found this interesting. It's an easy tip. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification button and thumbs up to help the channel. Until next time, friends, go create something wonderful. Bye-bye now.